Hello there and good morning. Now I've been musing over this for the last day or so. Could our exit from the European Union become one of the UK's greatest, if not the greatest, of constitutional events? After four decades of being slowly immersed into the EU system as it morphed from a common market with a few members into a virtual empire covering much of Europe and controlling nearly every aspect of its population's lives, after the largest exercise in democracy the country had ever seen, the UK decided it was time to leave. Then followed two and a half years of anger, resentment, name-calling, blame, some isolated pockets of violence, with some laying the death of the MP Joe Cox at the door of Brexiteers, claims of hate across the board, claims of lying and of cheating. The list goes on. But Leave won the vote so the UK's political system was forced to go about the business of trying to reconcile the result with the wishes of those that hold the power, the establishment. And with 41 days to go, we now see the general movement is in the direction of a full exit from the EU on WTO terms. The cleanest of breaks with no connections left to the EU, a blank canvas on which we can paint the future of a UK reborn. But in the last 30 or so months, many of those in power or with influence have continually strained every sinew to ensure that Brexit never occurred, or that if it did, it would be watered down as to be Brexit in name only, or given May's deal even worse. But at every twist and turn, the Brexit blockers came across that huge, silent elephant with 17.4 million voters' names written down its sides that forever blocked their way. And inside the snake pit that is Westminster, where the majority of politicians and civil servants are totally pro the EU Empire project, plots and plans were formed to turn the laws and rules upside down to force a Brexit halt. Plots and plans that push some possibly good alternative plans aside. But in the end, I hope all those machinations will be proven to have been to no avail. Because at the end of the day, honed over centuries with all its foibles, from the arcane to the well-tried and trusted to the modern, our constitution must be seen to work. I hope that history will show that our unwritten constitution ensured that when the people were given the decision, then the system delivered, however those in power felt about it. The constitution is not just rules and regulations though, it also has a human element. And maybe, when we look back, we will see that the system again worked, in that it produced, via democracy, a sufficient number of true Democrats into the Commons Chamber to keep the whole show on the right tracks. And although there have been isolated and regrettable incidents, this ongoing, massive constitutional change has been a peaceful affair, involving huge swathes of the population openly arguing their case. That in itself is a victory. But for me, we now only have one choice. Anything less than an unfettered exit from the EU on WTO terms at 11pm on the 29th of March 2019 will be a failure of the UK constitution itself and would result in a total collapse of trust. That, in my view, is what is at stake here. Anyway, what do you think? Please leave a comment below and thank you for watching.